Welcome to Bullseye of Outdoor Adventures, the TV show. I can't wait to see him. Let's go see this deer. Country music artist, Abbas. The females will always hurt you. And Russ Wall. Settle in and get started. What a magnificent bull this is. Bullseye Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by Nikon, the trusted name in optics. Gold Tip Arrows. Thompson Center, America's master gunmaker. Trophy Rock, all natural mineral licks. Amacker, if it ain't Amacker, it ain't worth hanging. Level Lock Shooting Systems. Matthews, King Shadow Camo. Clawhorn, Shadow Hunter. The Optic Belt. Robert W. Hart and Son. This show is also brought to you by Bullseye Outfitters. We do the work, you do the hunting. Africa. Surfing in Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a cold, brisk morning, and welcome to the show. We're in South Africa hunting with Amanita Safaris. It is the, Lim how many days of our hunt? I don't know, but it's the Limpopo region. We're in the Limpopo region. It's the fifth day of our hunt, and today we're after Kudu. Eric has many different ranches within his concession and we're hunting his bow ranch today, and the animals are like, duh. It's gonna be fun, okay? So get ready for a lot of animals. <laughs> Let's get them. <laughs> Bullseye Outdoor Adventures, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Bullseye Outdoor Adventures. This segment is brought to you by King Shadow Camo. so hard for eight days, I'll toss me trying to get a Gems buck. Oh, we just stalked in and whacked one with a firearm, man. That's an awesome Gems buck. Let's go check him out. Come on, let's go. No tracking on this one, Franz. Let me get this custom heart rifle safe. Go on, a beautiful bull. I'm here at Amanita Safaris with Eric Treblanche, and it's just another bullseye great hunt. This is something I've wanted for 20 years, ever since I see Boddington hunt Africa on ESPN. You just gotta come over here and try this. There's so many animals, you can be selective. It's such a great hunt. You can sit in blinds and bow hunt, you can spot and stalk like we did on this beautiful Gems buck. I wanna thank my guide Altus, I wanna thank Eric, his wife Tilly, and Browns of Trackers, everybody that has to do with this outfit, they just do a great job of putting you on trophy quality game. Get over here and hunt this place. All right, here we are. We're at the second second day here uh, at, at the new concession that we're hunting, the new property that um, Eric set us up on. And uh, this is where George and uh, Altus were last night. So they seen some a lot of big wildebeest 
and um, some more hogs. So some good with some good tusks. So we're gonna sit tight. It's a little chilly this morning. So uh, let's just see what happens. Just let this be a shot. He's gone. Hi, me and Briar are here. We're uh, we're at with Amini Safaris, South Africa, in the Popo region. That's my first wildebeest. And uh, we've been waiting on a few and we just couldn't get shots. And this big boy come in. <laughs> we're uh, they, they're supplementing feeding them because it's so dry here, there's no green. Uh, we're, where Eric's, uh, one of his other places we were, it was really green because it had a lot of rain. This part of South Africa hasn't had rain in, what, four months? Yeah, it's been full. So they're coming in to, this is actually a natural water hole, and uh, they got uh, the animals, a lot of animals. We had Gemsbuck, Impala, the guinea fowl, and then this big wildebeest come in. And uh, he, we waited and waited for him to present a shot, and he finally did. And I'm, still, I'm still shaking. That was so exciting. <laughs> Palms just sweated right up. And uh, he finally turned right, and uh, the kill zone on these animals are a little different than ours yeah. in America. So you got to aim a little more forward. forward but yeah. That arrow just sank right in there. So I think we got a home run on that one. I think we let the uh, let the air out of his bags. Yes. So we're gonna go get a tracker, right? Yeah. Call. Or are we gonna? We gonna stop. Uh, start uh, looking for it. Yeah. Okay. So let's come along with us. Here we go. Will the beast? Oh yeah, it's covered. Yep. Right there. It's, it's not dead yet. Hold on. Yeah. Just let him bleed out. Yeah. We don't want him to come at us. Oh. Yeah, he's... Let him bleed out. Okay. We just came up on the animal. We, uh, we got on his track right away. We're just going to wait a few minutes. We can just see his horns and his head moving around, so just needs a few more minutes and he'll be gone, so. Yeah, we've waited about, what, a good half hour? So, he should be down, so we're just gonna go, uh, gonna go make sure. He looks down. How you doing, Josh and Eileen Lenati here with the Take Game crew, filming with Bullseye Outdoors here in South Africa with Amanita Safaris with Eric Treblanc. We got our uh, PH Brian Visser here on camera, and uh, this is our first world of beast that we ever harvested or shot. We uh, got him. He came in kind of early. Brian spotted him, and he came right into bow range. Uh, very exciting. We're hunting in an area that uh, hasn't seen rain in four months, so uh, these they're they're thirsty and they're hungry. Um, we're supplement feeding them here because uh, there's not any greens so um, they came right in and uh, he, it took us a while till he gave us a shot but he did and uh, he took off that uh, the muzzy and the gold tip and the Matthews make a good combo he went off about maybe what 100 yards Bri? Yeah about, about 100 yards now. but very tough animal but we hit him good and uh, got a beautiful trophy here so stay tuned and enjoy some more footage. Bullseye Outdoor Adventures. Right back.